Hey guys, it's Melissa here from MelissaOpen.com. This reading today that I'm doing, I channeled some messages for you about staying on the path. And I'm going to pull some tarot cards and I'm also going to pull some oracle cards from the spellcasting deck to give you some messages. So what came out, some of you need to really work on trusting your intuition. You feel like you're not on the right path. But the universe is saying, stay focused, stay on the path. You're not lost. You've been a little confused or distracted, but you're not lost. You're not off the path. You are on the right path. And they want you to listen for their guidance or look for their guidance. However you receive that guidance. Some people hear things, some people see things, whatever. However your guides give you messages they want you to listen and look for them because they are guiding you you are not lost i know it feels like it some people feel like you're so off the path because it feels uncomfortable right now and the truth is that when you get closer to manifesting um, and and really leveling up going to that next level it feels uncomfortable and why it's because we're shutting what is no longer serving us and sometimes that means people fall away Sometimes it means situations fall away. The unknown is uncomfortable. I don't, if you're like me, I'm a Taurus. I am a creature of habit. I don't really like change all that much, but my whole life has been about change. And I think that's been a huge lesson for me. Change is necessary. Without it, you don't have any growth. So if you wanna get to that next level, if you wanna grow to that next level, you have to be willing to change. And for some of you, that's scaring you and you're starting to think, well, things are falling apart. I'm not on the right. Sometimes things have to fall apart in order to be put back together again. The ending has to come in order for the new, wonderful and amazing beginning. So don't panic. You're right where you're supposed to be. The universe said, use your intuition. You know, how do you use your intuition? It's that inner knowing. You know, when you meet someone, when you try something new and it just clicks and you're like, yes, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Listen for that, look for the signs, and then don't try to chase things, okay? Just allow them to flow to you naturally. When we want to attract, we don't chase because chasing repels things. So instead, we just want to be in the flow. So try not to control things so much. Try to let go, and that's hard to do, but try to let go. So I'm gonna post some tarot to see what's gonna come out for you. You have the Knight of Cups. So following your dreams, okay? Follow your heart. Are you following your heart and your own path, or are you just doing what you think you should be doing because everybody else is doing that? You need to be your own unique individual and follow your own dreams, follow your heart. You have the Ace of Wands. You have new ideas coming in something is going to be manifesting for you this is like a new new idea comes to you and you're taking action on this so how can you take action to realize your dreams and you have the ace of pentacles all these aces are about new things coming out you have a new opportunity coming in uh it could be a new business opportunity it's coming so don't miss it okay it's, it, the universe is aligning something for you and you have the Queen of Wands coming in. Um, have confidence in yourself. You have so much natural talent. You need to be sure that you are using that talent and you're manifesting using that talent to bring those creative ideas to fruition. You have the Justice card. Something that was unfair that happened to you yeah, you have the five of wands. There's some sort of arguments. You felt betrayed. This is, you're receiving justice for this. You felt like you were treated unfairly, and you were. And now the universe is telling you this is going to be made right. So just hold on, hold on to it. And you feel a lot of loss over this. You have a lot of grief, but you're the magician. You're manifesting something better. You're manifesting justice in the situation and you're gonna get clarity in the situation and you're going to receive, 
you're going to be rewarded for all of your hard work. So if other people, when we talked about this distractions, people, you're on the right path, but there's other distractions. These distractions, whether they're people or situations, just ignore them. You're going to get your karmic justice for that. Don't let them stop you from following your dreams. Sometimes people are just jealous. Your light aggravates them. Don't allow that. It's so true, too. I've met people who didn't like me for no reason. It's just because. And I think, you know, your energy attracts people before you do. Your energy walks into the room before you do. And if you have this light, fun, just happy energy, people who are miserable and angry, that will just make them so agitated. You will irk them like nobody's business. Don't worry about it. Keep being you. Don't let them bother you. Don't let them get to you. Your psychic abilities. Some of you, you are really opening up to your psychic gifts, whether that's just being able to get the guidance you need in your everyday life from your guides. Some of you full on are opening up to psychic abilities. Don't be scared right now at this time. Um, you're ready for this. Some of you willpower. For some of you, there's some sort of addictions or things in your life that are getting in your way. And those are the distractions maybe that have kept you from your path. And it's okay, there's no judgment here. But you need to get control of that because you're actually blocking what should be coming to you because you're letting these distractions keep you from focusing on your dreams. So do with that what you will. You have manifestation, you have a manifestation coming in. Focus on what you wanna see. What is your desired outcome? Don't even think about what could happen that you don't want. Don't think about what you don't want. We're focusing on what we want. And you have healing. You, the situation, I feel like whatever that ugly <laughs> that you're getting justice for, you're healing from it. Continue to do that healing work. The universe is rewarding you for that and thanking you for doing the healing work. And not only are you healing yourselves, when we heal, we heal like seven generations ahead and seven generations behind us. So keep doing that healing work. The universe is so proud of you for that. And you're finding something that you thought you lost is coming back to you. And it's a good thing. Uh, you have a blue butterfly here that might be a sign. Um, this is something that you wanted that you lost. And it could just be you find your passion again. You find your joy again. You find yourself again. And to me, that's amazing. Like I'd much rather have that. And you have fertility, someone, this could be physically a new baby coming in. But for a lot of you, this is new projects, new ideas coming to fruition. And it's going to be a successful thing. You have the universe behind you telling you this is the right time. Okay, you have commitment coming out. For some of you, this is a literal marriage. This is coming in. For some of you, if you are single and maybe you have a new relationship coming in, and some of you, this is making a new commitment to your spiritual path and to yourself. You have strength. You are so strong and you're learning how strong you are. Keep going. Rely on that inner strength that you have. And then family. Some of you, there will be an improvement in your family situation. For some of you, it's a marriage and a baby. It's all the things and it's the family thing. And for some of you, just you're going to see improvements in your family. There's a change in your family. But look, that looks like a happy family. So no matter what the change is, know that you're protected through it. And the universe is guiding you. And it's going to be a good thing, a positive thing, even if it doesn't seem like that at first. Okay, I'm going to pull a couple of cards from Angela Rose's deck. And the first one coming out is rest and relax. So they want you to rest for all this stuff coming in. Your body's speaking to you. Can you hear it? Is your body telling you that you need rest, water, meditation, breath work, a massage? Listen to your body. What message is it sending to you? Drink water. Yes, a whole glass. Feel your whole body freshen and rise. And the mantra that goes with this card is I listen to my body. My body is wise. And then be, be your soul, not your role. Some of you are doing what you think others expect of you instead of doing what your heart is telling you and your soul is calling you to do. Who are you at your core? You are not the role you play in life or the many hats you wear. You're much more than that. Journal who you think you are at your core. What do you value? What matters most to you? And then the, car, the mantra that goes with this is, I am a divine soul. If those messages resonated, they're beautiful. You have beautiful things coming in. Hit the like button, follow, uh, share this video with anyone you think might benefit from it. Um, if you want to work with me, you can go to my website. I do half hour and hour sessions. I will never DM you. I hope that these messages resonated. I hope you have an amazing week. And